Hey, hey, Rhonda Roseanne here, CPA and Advanced Certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor with New Business Directions. And today I'm here with what I hope to be a short video on how to track paid leave and sick time due to the coronavirus. Intuit has provided us with some information on how to set up payroll items in your integrated payroll for a QuickBooks desktop. And I want to share with you how that works. And we're gonna start in the chart of accounts for a moment. And in here, in the chart of accounts, on my last video, we set up the COVID-19 expense account as an other expense type of an account. Then Intuit had us add a payroll liabilities account up in the current liabilities section for the COVID-19 liabilities. And this is an other current liabilities type of an account. So now that we have the two accounts on the chart of accounts that they want us to work with, now we can add to our payroll items. And we're going to add five items. It's under list and under payroll item list. And again, this is QuickBooks Desktop, and this is the integrated Intuit payroll. In your payroll item list, you're going to add five new items to track the variety of things that are covered under the Families First Act. To, to add a new item, you can go down to Payroll, New, or Control N, or you can right click in the middle of the screen and click on New. In the selecting of a setup method, always, no matter what you're doing, use the custom setup. It offers you more options, to set up a payroll item. And in the custom setup is where we're going to add an addition. So I believe the first four items that we add here are additions. And the first one that I'm going to put in here is the employee sick for COVID. And I am going to name these prettier than what Intuit recommended because I want them to be easy to find. I'm going to do COVID-19 employee sick. If your employee is sick and they are out, you will choose this one. And you will map this to that COVID-19 expenses account. Click next, and in here, in the tax tracking type, you will choose the national paid leave for the employee. And this will tell QuickBooks what to do with the taxes. And then you will click next, and then you will click to calculate this item based on quantity. And then next, and in your limit, you're going to put $5,110 because that is the limit. And you are going to leave it to restart each year and click finish. Item one, done. Right click, new, custom, next, another addition. Next, this one is COVID-19, and this is family sick. If someone in the family is sick and the employee needs to go out to take care of them. Again, you are going to map this to the COVID-19 expenses, and in here, you're going to choose National Paid Leave Family. Next, taxes are determined quantity, next, and the limit on the family is $2,000, annual restart each year, finish. There are two. Now we are going to do the third one, which is the paid leave. Again, new, custom, next, addition, next, and this we're going to call COVID child care, COVID. 19 child care and then next again we're going to map it to that COVID expense account and then next and here this is the FMLA or Family Medical Leave Act next taxes are correct now this one is a little bit different we are going to select um, neither next and then we're going to put $10,000 here and 
Here we are going to put that this is a one time limit and we're going to finish. Item three is done. Next, again, it's new, custom, and this one's a little bit different. This time it's a company contribution. Click next, and this is COVID-19 health premium. Next. And then the agency that you pay this to, Harvard Pilgrim or Anthem or whoever, and the account that you use to identify yourself with them. And then under the liability account, they want you to circle this through the expense, through the COVID expense. So it's COVID expense in the liability account, and it is COVID expense in the expense account, you'll get a warning that's telling you that you're circling the transaction. Yes, I do. And in the tax tracking type, they want you to select national paid leave health and click next where it knows what to do with the taxes. And here it wants you to calculate based on quantity and you want to put $10,000 here, and it is a one-time limit for this health premium. And then you need to set up the fifth item, and the fifth item is a tax item. So again, new, custom, next, and this is an other tax, and it is a user-defined tax that is paid by the company. And then next, and this is going to be called COVID-19 tax credit because there's a tax credit available for all of this. And then here you're going to say probably United States Treasury and the number that identifies you to them, which is going to be your tax ID number. And you're going to map the liability to COVID liabilities and you're gonna map the expenses to COVID expenses. And then you're going to go next. now. Here's where the instructions from Intuit stop. I'm going to give this my best guess of what we're supposed to do here because there are no instructions from Intuit here. The tax tracking type of a tax credit, I'm going to say is none. I'm going to say neither. And I'm going to have no limits. And then I'm going to click next and I'm going to finish. Those are my five COVID related items. So I have the three editions of employee sick, family sick, child care, then the company contribution for the health insurance and the tax credit. That is how Intuit has given us the instructions for creating these payroll items to track COVID sick. I expect there to be an update of additional information. Stay tuned. And if you have any questions about QuickBooks or need assistance, please start with our website at newbusinessdirections.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we have short little videos like this on a regular basis. And if you need help organizing your chaos or streamlining the process, give us a call. It's okay. We can help.